to Booze Reviews in Black and White. I am Bane. This is D'Amico. Uh, we're here today with Boddington's Ale. Yes. D'Amico brought brought this up for us. Uh, threw it up on the table. Let's. Uh, what do you know? Uh, everyone knows Boddington's. I think. Uh, I don't. I've never Britain, had Britain. Britain. It's a public house ale. Uh, 4.8% alcohol, no, 4.7% alcohol by volume. Yeah. Um, See how it's crazy, this pour is so interesting. As you watch it develop, it's very cloudy, hazy. Uh, the head is actually just, it almost seems like it took over the entire glass, uh, but it separates very nicely to a nice, crisp, clean head. Um, that lacing, whatever that that grippy foam is, is, it's there, but it's not it's not crazy. Extremely, extremely tight bubbles. Uh, you do get some of the bigger bubbles, but it's very foamy, very shaving cream consistency almost. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> and that's how beer should be coming out of a can when it has the widget in it. Um, I mean, everyone has seen that, you know, where it gets cloudy and kind of cleans itself up from uh, doing a good pour of Guinness. Uh, same, same deal, same yeah. idea. Um, <clears throat> yeah, let's uh, jump into this bad boy. Uh, this nose is so interesting. I'm getting like bright fruits. Um, I'm not getting a lot of like the weed or anything, uh, rye, none of that stuff. I'm getting this just bright, expressive fruits and almost like a flowery note. See, so. I'm getting the complete opposite. Really? Yeah. I'm smelling nothing but grains just all day long. A little bit of grains coming through now, but yeah, I, honestly, very expressive nose. Show that. Guys, see that hopefully. It's really dark, actually. It's surprising. It's got some darkness to it. Mm. Heavy, heavy mouthfeel um, without being overwhelming. Uh, coating the mouth, it's still kind of crisp and clean to an extent. Um, yeah, I'm liking it so far. It's got a little bit of that barley bite to it at the end. Um, seriously, no hops, no, I mean, it's, you know what, I will say it. I was reading some other reviews on this beer and people hate it, I don't know why. Um, yeah, it's not the most flavorful beer. It's not in your face with flavor and just But it's easy drinking. This is a pub beer, so you go to the pub in England, no one's going in there for one beer, two beers. They're there after work at 5 o'clock until 10 p.m., pounding them back, and this is the kind of beer that you can do that with. Uh, it's a session beer, you know. I got to tell you, I'm getting a lot of, and I think I know why people don't like this, I'm getting Ooh. like a lot of oat character rather than like sure. the wheat component, which is, I mean, totally on the drier side of things. I can, I can see somebody not liking this because of that particular character that's coming I don't through. care what they don't like it for. Keep on not liking it. I'll keep buying it at an affordable price. Makes it cheaper for and you. And keep drinking it. But, I can sing this beer praises all day long. But in the grand scheme of uh, the craft beers that are coming out, I can understand why it gets those ratings. Um, it's, it is what it is. It's just a simple, easy drinking beer. Uh, if I'm going to rate it, I'm going to give it a seven and a half. Hmm. I think that the, the oats, the grains, the expressive nose, although the palate's not as expressive as the nose, I still think uh, 7 point, 7 point 5 is fine. Everyday beer for me, for sure. Um, let, me, let me, since you brought that up, <coughs> on the, 
excuse me, damn, on the actual uh, can, on the packaging, it does say 41 degrees Fahrenheit, which kind of shocks me, because uh, that is really cold for a beer, uh, unless you're drinking Miller, Bud, those kind of beers that are extremely light, low flavor, uh, that's their whole thing is get it as cold as possible to pound it down. Sure. Uh, but I can understand it. I mean, this, this beer doesn't have a whole lot of flavor to it. I mean, it's got some grassiness, uh, some oats, some weediness. Uh, Bane was getting some fruity characters from it, some floral. Yeah, a little bit. Um, a little bit. It's, it's a light beer, light flavored beer. Uh, but... I don't know. I like it. Feels good going down. All right. Well, check it out. Boddington's Pub Ale. It should be distributed pretty much uh, widely throughout the United States. Uh, yes, it is. And if you guys are watching from overseas, I'm sorry. I have no idea where else it is other than the UK. Well, it's definitely huge over in the UK. Yeah. They know where it is. I think it's pretty big in Canada, too. Even, even the Canadians drink Boddington's. Mm-hmm. Got to feel good about that. I don't know about that with bat blue, but you know, I can keep the Molson too. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I, I, no, I, just, I don't want to offend my Canadian followers. I know we got a couple up there, but uh, yeah, seriously, guys. Molson? Now, now this, is, this is an interesting fact. You brought up Canada. Did you know, I think... The statistic was something like 95% of Canadians live within 75 miles of the U.S. border. Yeah, because there's not a whole lot north of that 75 mile marker. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's just really crazy. Huge me. country. It's like it's like uh, Montana in North and South Dakota here in the States. Right. Huge land, but tiny little populations. Yeah. It's kind of weird. All right, well, anyways, yeah, it's a little we'll, off the we'll subject. We'll bore you later with our geographical, <laughs> uh, <laughs> our social social statistic numbers and stuff. Uh, thanks again for watching. Thanks for supporting us. Uh, please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, uh, here on YouTube, subscribe, and Pinterest, Pinterest, Pinterest. Yes, pin us on Pinterest because Tyler is a new. Peace.